Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. here. Thank you for checking out my videos. Go to thecombatsystem.com for all your mixed martial arts needs. And please subscribe to my YouTube page. Make sure to go to thecombatsystem.com and subscribe to my YouTube page. Me, and it was a good time. Thank you very much. Thank for you. Thank um, for helping me. Uh, make sure to subscribe to this guy's uh, channel, Dan the Wolfman. Uh, you respect the game, man. You know the game. You know what you're talking about. And uh, yeah, uh, you're pretty credible. Well, thank you, sir. Welcome, everybody, new and old. I'm Dan the Wolfman, catchyoutube.com, and it seems the cool thing to do nowadays is to make a grading system on what is the best martial art and grade all the martial arts. Well, you young whippersnappers out there, maybe you're trying to decide what martial art you should do. Pay attention. A lot of other people have done them, but are they old like me? Meaning I've trained martial arts 34 years. I have four highly coveted black belts for the people that are new and not familiar with me, guys. Um, I trained MMA for over 20, 22 years or so with the best fighters literally around the world, all over the world. Teen martial arts, I'm gonna do like 26 or 27 uh, if it doesn't go too long, guys. Uh, and I'm getting some obscure ones you didn't know about, some awesome ones you didn't know about. So you're going to want to listen to it. Uh, guys, I fought pro in M MMA, unlike some of the other channels you're following. I bounced, I got real world experience, I have a combatives and street jujitsu, four and a half hour DVD on BJJ Fanatics, taking all the martial arts I've trained and actually taking all the essential stuff to teach you in four and a half hours how to defend yourself and your loved ones in real world self-defense situations. Guy shoves you in your face, grabs your shirt, how to react in all the different real scenarios uh, that I've seen in my life of world travels as well as bouncing around the world. Okay guys, so let's do this. And I'm gonna go on the list where that other guy did and that way you can compare mine to his. And then I'm gonna go on to the other martial arts you probably didn't even think about. All right, so number, and we're going from S to F, I guess, with no E because that's silly, and I don't know if S is for super now or if that's actually a school thing that the communists are doing. I have no idea. But anyway, S for super, not easy to get that. Let's see if anybody does. Um, so first up is judo. Judo goes back when Jogaro Kano took all the jujitsu ruse in Japan and tried to take out the most dangerous stuff and leave in the real stuff you could train live in Randori, that you could train in sport. He was teaching in the school system so he could teach something in the school systems to children of all ages and colleges and universities and police and little kids and everybody. So you could still have an effective martial art, but you could actually train it live. You're going to see that the arts that do live pressure testing, live randori, live sport, why they're going to rank higher. They just do. Okay? So judo um, was bull throwing and groundwork, unlike other people that didn't know there was submissions from judo. Where do you think BJJ comes from? Guys, I got a black belt from Taekwondo. started at 9, didn't get until I was like almost 16 or 16. Got my black belt. So it wasn't McDojo. It was his first black belt. There was a few good fighters there, but I was his first black belt, the guy running the school, whatever. Started dabbling, doing this and that, JKD, and Choi Ming Do, and kickboxing schools, and sparring, and 18 sparring, and keto class, Tai Chi class, and sparring, and doing grappling with the Taekwondo guys, and doing everything I could, and hardcore, 20 years old, found Dan Severn. Started training MMA, catch wrestling, jujitsu, Muay Thai, all the hardcore MMA stuff, since I'm 20 and I'm 43 years old. Okay, so that's my background. So judo, guys. Um, then I got a, a black belt in Daido Juko Karate. I'll talk more about that later. Then I got a black belt under in highest on grappling system under famous Gokor Shibichin and Judo Jean the Bell, which is a combination of judo, jiu-jitsu, catch wrestling, sambo, wrestling, etc. All the cool grappling put together. And then I got a black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So, but I've also done almost every martial art, 26, 27 on this list. There's only like three I haven't like done. Uh, at least a little bit, and I have pretty extensive knowledge and even, you know, those. like So, Judo Guys. Judo Guys is pretty awesome. I've gone to the Kodakon twice, trained, got videos on my channel. You can check out. Judo, for a long time, became mostly just throwing, but no, it was totally like throwing and a waza and groundwork, right? It was both, and it still isn't. Even the last Olympics, Olympics, they let more time on the ground. There was way more submissions. The Nawaza part of Olympic-level judo is definitely back. Um, 
judo is still very good because it teaches you to throw them mf -er. most people in a street fight have no balance they got no self-defense skills and you can throw people like crazy you see people in parliament in different countries judokas and throwing each other around in poland and korea and other places uh like it works i mean like tomo nagis over the head ippon tsunagis we've seen women in africa with guys messing with them dropping people with ippon tsunagi oh sotogari judo is the art of hitting people with the earth all the submissions you see in jiu-jitsu, guys, Shankaku, Jimmy, look at my old playlist. I got epic old playlist, guys, old judo videos, old sambo videos. Check it out. You can see Mafume doing all kinds of leg locks back in the day. I mean, literally, triangle choke, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so that's a solid B, guys. Next up is boxing. Boxing with the hand, jab, cross, hook, uppercut, overhand. All right, look at my 13-punch numbering system. Boxing is legit. Amateur, Olympics, pro, obviously. Mike Tyson, peekaboo. Boxing, obviously legit. The most legit with these hands. And even in kickboxing and MMA, what gets the most knockouts, like 88%, is the hands, you fool. So boxing is super important. Now, are they open to the leg kicks? Yes. Are they open to a nut kick? Yes. Do they have anything to do with weapons? No. Do they have anything to do with grappling? No. Did Mike Tyson have six months of sprawl training? No. <laughs> That's an old joke for you old timers. Um, but solid B. Because if you're a boxing dude, you can knock out three, four dudes messing with a girl on the street. We've seen it in Russia all the time. Boxing's really important. So we're grading things based on real fighting in a self-defense scenario or like one-on-one -on -one or how one style go goes against the other. We're talking about real fighting here, not like stunts. Like I'm, I'm a stunt man. I've done stunt fighting and all that. I've done wushu three times, you know, with like Mark Dacascus and stuff like, you know, like that world too. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about like real applicable skills. All right, next up, Kung Fu. Kung Fu generic term. We're going to throw it all together. Um, the best Kung Fu, in my opinion, is Wing Chun from a good instructor, Ving Sun, or um, when you age, if you already experience in other martial arts, I really think Bok Wah, I found, found some footage of like old Chinese dudes somewhere in the mountains in China. They got the legit stuff, the good stuff, Bok Wah. Internal energy, you see even my Kosorogaki takedown, my Bok Wah push hands. I do to like all kinds of people, look at my... Real Steven Seagal Aikido video, you'll see me doing that. Um, other Kung Fu decent. Sanda's different. We'll talk about that later. Um, yeah, so like Wing Chun or Bust, but even then, it's only a D. It's only a D. It's only a D. Wake up, it's only a D. Is it totally useless? No. I got recent videos calling out Master Wong, showing the real ways, the applicable skills of Wing Chun for MMA and street fighting. Check out the videos, pretty fun. Got a couple of them calling out Master Wong. I was actually a fan doing Tai Chi, following his videos, like literally for like two hours, doing his Tai Chi video from like 11 years ago in a golf course and like doing like some of his Kung Fu stuff. Okay, next up, Lethway. Because we're going in the order that 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 uh, Safe Space Karate dude Kempo Karate, I Got the Power by Snap guy was doing. So Lethway, Lethway, if you're not familiar, is Muay Thai plus headbutts from Cambodia, now called, or not Cambodia, Myanmar, which I'm forgetting what it used to be called. Lethway is art of nine limbs. Muay Thai is art of eight limbs. Punches, kicks, knees, elbows, but Lethway also has awesome headbutts. Okay, so it's awesome at striking. It's legit. They have kind of have a slow pacing and slow music. They're not really as skilled as the Muay Thai guys are, but like some ha nasty headbutts if you, you watch it. But kickboxing, Lethway gets a solid B. So you see judo, boxing. If you're really, really good at your one range of fighting or like what you do, striking, throwing and grappling, like you get a B. All right, next up, Capoeira. Capoeira gets an F. Maybe a D. Gets F nowadays. Back in the day in Brazil. Obrigado, my friends. It got a D. I watched it. I've watched many classes. I watched some people in, in Huntington Beach back in the day. There was a guy teaching there, and I talked to him later. He had a scar on his cheek, and I talked to him. That was from a switchblade. Back in the day, in the days in Brazil, when Jiu-Jitsu took on Luta Livre, took on Capoeira, took on... You know, when that was all going on, like, they kind of, he kind of showed me something. I'm like, yeah, you can, like, bump in, boom, punch. And he, back in the day, a guy like him, it was a D. Now it's an F because, like, that's dead. 
but you can find Mestre Hulk, just like only the strong, doing the triple kicks and flying in with a super punch and knocking out Jiu Jitsu world champion Batesh, oh, Amari Batesh, oh, back in the day. But an F for Capoeira, basically. All right, Jiu Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Just because I'm wearing a Hicks on my armbar shirt, you think I'm going to give it an A or an S? Jiu-Jitsu was an A- minus back in the day. Jiu-Jitsu is just a B now, homies, because you are butt floppers and you do barambolos and you're not even thinking about strikes and you're not doing self-defense and you're not practicing takedowns against a striker. Look at my old school versus new school Jiu-Jitsu. Is it still awesome? Yes. Is it now a B as opposed to the almost total martial art it used to be? Yes. So Jiu-Jitsu, my day, if you started like 97 like I did or like 2006 and before UFC blew up in 2000. Five and it got more and more and more watered down. Jiu Jitsu's now be used to be an A minus. All right. So next up, JKD Bruce Lee's martial art, Jeet Kune Do. Back in the day, Dan the Wolfman, 98 to like 2001, 2002. Two different JKD schools and getting together like people's basements and backyards. A few time other JKD instructors under Guru Dan Insano, also trained Kali under uh, an Asano guy before. A couple different guy, Kali guys before. JKD, sideways stance, straight blast. I'm the first guy to ever, uh, do, ever do a straight blast in MMA. Yes, that's me. The first guy to ever do Bruce Lee's favorite technique is straight blast in MMA. Look for my straight blast in MMA real footage video. Uh, just look at my Kung Fu playlist. It's all on there. So is Bruce Lee doing stuff you haven't seen before. All kinds of stuff. JKD gets a C. Because really... They don't really train it like Bruce was really going for. They just train art by art by art. I used to do like three hours a night, different classes. So JKD followed by Muay Thai mixed with Sava, followed by Shudo mixed with Jiu Jitsu or whatever. Or like just individual classes. So like, or like JKD and then an hour of Kali and then an hour of Muay Thai, right? So like, it gives you a good backing, but it doesn't necessarily put it all together unless you're like a high level guy. And then even then, even some of the instructors got beat by 16 year old kids and hook and shoot. Anyway, um, yeah! JK Sorry, I love it, but I did it. I like it. You see my methodology is kind of that way, but JKD is a C. We're all right, next up karate. Now karate can either suck and be McDojo, in which case it's either a D on the good side or it's an F on the bad side, most karate styles. So it could be an F, it could be a D. Like that's just the way it is. Or it could be like totally a B or an A. So I'll get to one of the A styles it could be a B, and the B styles of karate are Kyoko Shin, anywhere around the world, or any of the Kyoko Shin offshoots, Enshin Sabaki Challenge, Enshin Karate, um, you know, Saito Kakan, all that kind of stuff, or real Shotokan, but real Shotokan is hard to find. Now, if you, Lyoto Machida, go to his school, Chinzo Machida, I trained with Lyoto and Chinzo for three months. Real Shotokan or like hard school, an old guy, an old Japanese guy that won the, like the All Japan, like maybe still doing real Shotokan, that's the thing. The hopping up down was supposed to be in the Olympics this year, bopping on the top of the head. No, that goes to a D. The real Shotokan goes to a B. All right, next up, wrestling. Wrestling gets a U. I originally was going to say an A, but let's, let's go with a B plus. So if we gave Judo, Jiu Jitsu a B, we're going to give wrestling... A B plus, almost A minus. Why? They don't do submissions. They don't do striking. Because if you take someone that's wrestled their whole life and put them in a bar fight, like Dan Henderson or, or Randy Couture or any of those guys and their stories about it, they're going to mess you up. Because wrestling teaches you to be tough and have forward pressure and be aggressive. And they train hard and they're in shit. So you get a guy who's wrestled eight years, 12 years. Some start at four years old. But if you get a guy who wrestled four years of high school and like is in his second, third year of college, he's going to mess you up. So wrestling gets a B plus. Okay. Next up, Krav Maga. I mean, Krav Maga. Sorry. Krav Maga. So basically, most Krav Maga completely sucks. At least in America. They suck. Now, some of the techniques, some of them are good. Most of the ones that they had Russians teach them are good. The rest of them suck. So if for every one good technique, there's two that will get you killed. I've studied all their videos. I've Looked at their books from the different organizations, all the organizations. Uh, but yeah, in America, it is basically a D or an F. 
So there's a lot of Fs out there, like fake ass, LARPing, BSers. Crown Maga gets an F, occasionally a D from a good instructor, occasionally, and maybe in Israel from like real badasses, at least from the, not all the, no, not in all the army, but like in specialized groups, it's like BC from specialized groups. There's some people, but like those are hardcore people. That's not McDojo. McDojo, Krat Maga is an F. Okay, sue me. Okay, don't do that because you people actually would. Okay, next, uh, M Muay Thai. Muay Thai is a B. Yes, I've trained Muay Thai with Meiti Jidapek, Lupini Stadium Champion. Lupini. I've been to the old Lupini. I trained in Thailand three times. I trained in Thailand with Santian Noe, another Lupini champion. Okay, so Swadikap Sabadimai Muay Thai is awesome. It's a solid B. Taekwondo, Taekwondo gets a D. That was my first black belt, but it still gets a D. Sometimes it's an F. Sometimes it might be a D plus, C minus. Sometimes. But basically, it's a D. Now, is it good as a kid? Like, cop aware in Taekwondo, like, they teach you body awareness and how to kick and, like, how to move your body. Like, as a kid, when you're light and you're spindly and stuff, that's good. So, like, for that, it's good. For younger, it's okay. But... I wish I would have rather started in, like, real karate. But in America, you can't really find real karate other than a few cities, right? So, uh, Taekwondo, basically a D. Aikido, I'm going to pee off a lot of my um, subscribers because I'm Dan the Aikido Man, the guy who's actually made Aikido work in live jujitsu, grappling, randori, going live with all kinds of grapplers around the world. My videos have kind of blown up. Because I can actually make these locks work. Why? Because I would bounce my whole life and I've done other martial arts and so I can take a few things from Aikido and I can really make them work. So Aikido actually gets an F. Sorry fake homies because you are bad choreographed dancers that have no intention and nothing. But I defend it because it can be a D in ciliary arts and you don't want to do a D martial art people. As an adult, as a kid, oh, maybe okay. You don't want to do a D-rated mar martial art unless you're already a super A, B qualified person. And I'm already a super, super A, B qualified guy that can make my Aikido work. So, or you're at least a B qualified guy, a, a judo black belt like most Aikido people were back in the day, training hard. And you're a cop, a nurse, an EMT, psych asylum, whatever, that actually has to use these techniques that are useful. I teach in my DVD how to actually do them. My Combatives and Street Jiu-Jitsu DVD on BJJ Fanatics. I teach the useful stuff. I teach actually how to set it up that even most Aikido Black Bolts couldn't do. I can. So you can take what's useful, but only like if you have the background to do so. Dutch kickboxing. Now we're getting the good stuff. The stuff no one else has covered, Dutch kickboxing, Dutch kickboxing, Dutch kickboxing is the best kickboxing. Dutch kickboxing is probably your best striking base for MMA. Not that that's the movement you should use in MMA, because no, it is not. You're not using enough movement in Muay Thai and Leth Way and Dutch kickboxing, but it'll teach you how to throw all your combos, because Dutch kickboxing is basically Muay Thai mixed with Kyoko Shin mixed with boxing. That's what Dutch kickboxing really is. They said it, the, the old guys in the 70s, it was Kyoko Shin Black Bolts that picked up the Muay Thai. But guys, they really got the boxing combos down so they can go one, two, three, low kick. They can go liver punch, low kick. They can go liver punch, set up the high kick. Dutch kickboxing is the best kickboxing there is. And therefore, it gets the highly coveted A. Is that the first A on the list? I think that is the first A on the list. Dutch kickboxing. Okay, next up, Kali Eskrima. You're doing your Sinawali. I have videos doing it. I can do all my stick fighting stuff. I know how to fight with knives, dual hands. It makes me better at shooting. Uh, epi epidextrous, both hands. Kali Eskrima. It is a C for weapons. For stick and knife, it is a, like, as a martial art, it's a C. Sorry, there's a lot of mid-range, trappy-happy, like Wing Chun BS disarm stuff. No, it's outside sticks, dog brother stuff, or it's inside clinch, boom, clinch, choking with the stick, knee in the liver, take down, passing in the head, punios to the face. Um, Kali, good. C for weapons, D, empty hand. So if I put a Kung Fu guy against Kali guy, empty hand, I lean towards the Kali guy, but like, it depends. So the D is empty hand, it's not really great empty hand. They tell you it is, but it's not. 
Uh, it's just the way it is. Filipino boxing, that's a different thing. Okay, next up, C-Lot. Sorry, C-Lot people. Other than the hot girl that's my friend on Facebook that's famous, and like the couple actors from that got beat up, John Wick 3, and he took them both down to the ground and wrapped them up and hit them. Exactly shot for shot, like one of my videos in Malaysia from 2012 where I say fight like Batman, I go down on my knees and I take the, take them down. It's shot for shot for the two Indonesian uh, actors. Anyway, guys, see lots of F. They have, for the people that do all these weird side stances that should have all this balance, if you actually watch C-Lot competitive C-Lot world championships and there's been different stuff and one and stuff, it's bad. It's it's really, really, really bad. It's like Taekwondo but falling on your butt all the time. They have no balance bad. C-Lot gets an F. Sorry. Sistema. Yes. The highly controversial Sistema that all the internet people that have trained martial arts for two years because they know what's up because they got a blue belt in jujitsu and they've done a month of Muay Thai. They know this. Sistema just sucks. Well, my friends, Sistema is either an S for super or it is a D, typically. Could be a C if it was like a really, really good instructor that had a legitimate fighting background before he mastered Sistema, or it's an S for super. For someone like me that has trained 34 years and picked up Sistema after, I don't know, 98, so 12 years already training, and I started uh, experimenting and taking in stuff from Sistema, it's a S. I teach a lot of the applicable stuff, how to actually do it, in my Commander's Street Jiu-Jitsu DVD, system is either super or D, typically. Okay, catch wrestling is an A. Obviously, catchjitsu.com is the channel you're watching and subscribing to over there and doing all that in a few minutes. MMA, we'll get back to that. Shoot boxing, what's shoot boxing? Japanese style, Sayama, kickboxing, but with standing submissions, standing arm locks, standing guillotine mostly, rear naked choke a few times, Shoot boxing gets a B plus. So all the kickboxing basically get a B. We're gonna go B plus because it's my channel, and so it's B, not as good as Muay Thai kickboxing or Dutch kickboxing, but you plus it because you got standing submissions. Shooto was MMA. I train officially in Shooto, and I train with Shooto uh, contenders. Shooto is like MMA, so it's a A minus. MMA gets a super because it puts everything together. Let's just go there right now. All right, MMA is the only super, super duper, MMA from a good guy, MMA from a pro fighter, MMA from a guy who has at least a few pro fights and maybe like a jiu-jitsu brown belt or something or higher, that MMA is super. MMA from your karate school that has MMA in the window is either a D or an F. Okay. Next up is Daido Juko Kudo. I have a black belt in Daido Juko, fought in two world championships. It was MMA, not in 1993, but back in 86. But it's street MMA because you can punch, kick, headbutt. If the guy's way bigger and heavier than you, you can kick him in the nuts. You can throw him to the ground and you grapple for 30 seconds on the ground. Sounds like a street fighter, right? So it was total martial art before total martial yeah, art was really around. Momentum. Shudo and Daido Juko go back to 86. Way before Pancrase and UFC 93. Discussion, know your history, yeah. people. Um, that is, sure. Daido Juko would be an A, a solid A. Okay, maybe an A plus even. Sports Sambo. Sports Sambo is a B plus. Sports Sambo is a B to B plus. If it's going against a jiu-jitsu guy, the Sports Sambo guy will usually lose. But if for a street fight, the Sports Sambo is better than the Sports Jiu-Jitsu, Bajaj, Pajama Bajaj we doing nowadays. All right, so next up, Combat Sambo. Combat sa Sambo, Fedor and Milaneko, we got an A plus. Russian hand-to-hand, -hand, what is that? You can get a Master of Sports in it. AR ARB fighting is an A. Russian ARB, look it up. Sanda is a B, Chinese kickboxing with throws. Sanda is a B, and Savat is a B minus in sport, or if it was old school Savat guy that taught you the self-defense of Savat and Kane, then it would be a B plus. So most kickboxing is a B. This is the truth. This is the realness. I'm Dan the Wolfman. Catch Jitsu. Hit that subscription. Get my four and a half hour DVD to protect your butt. Combatters of Street Jiu Jitsu on BJJ Fanatics. Give me that short arm bar. Get some Kazushi going for the Sumigeshi. Catch wrestling is biomechanics and knowing how the body works. And he's super flexible. And I'm like, well, can I turn this guy into a pretzel twist? Alright, next time.
mount, uh, spin around knee bars, legs are crossed, so I go for the used to if you cross the other arrow ride. It wouldn't surprise me to sink the down. I do that a lot if you're playing a game. Here I kind of do a few where you're doggy, and again, hit over the And then he hits me with a beautiful uh, sideways tokenagi. Et c'est là l'un des aspects les plus intéressants de ce nouveau sport panaché, à la portée de tout homme, femme ou enfant, à la cadence de deux leçons d'une heure par semaine. Sure to go to the combat system.com and subscribe to my YouTube page at the Cat Series.